NASCAR Rally returns to Argentina and Chile. It's the biggest, the best, and the most awe-inspiring motorsport event on the planet. Spaniard Mark Comer has his number one plate to defend after winning 12 months ago, but Sil Dupre has thoughts of a third victory. Volkswagen are out to protect their domination of the rally last year when Janil de Villiers took the win for South Africa. Hola, Hola, bienvenido bienvenido a Buenos, Aires. Buenos Aires is at the heart of the event as the start and finish of the Dakar Rally, a truly magnificent city with history all around. Bienvenidos al Dakar 2010. It is of course the home of the tango dance, world famous, evocative and sexy. In amongst the history is a modern pulsating heart. But if it's architecture you're after, then this is the place to be. Hola, Hola. bienvenido a Buenos Aires. Tendrán la oportunidad de descubrir dos bellos países, Argentina, Chile. In downtown Buenos Aires, the Dakar caravan has assembled for the annual blast through the world's toughest terrain. But only after a big three-day show has been laid on for the fans from all over the world who've made the trip to see the motorsport machinery par excellence. The Dakar had a stunning send-off here last year in front of half a million people. This year, even more are expected to follow the rally through Argentina and over the other side of the Andes into Chile. The route is 80% new with a big part in the Atacama Desert, seven days from Copiapo to Iquique. 2,000 kilometers into the north it will be a sporting and a hazardous run up there with all sorts of very difficult terrain as well as heat. As you can see, here the weather is wonderful, but in the Atacama Desert the temperatures will be much, much higher. It's the 32nd Dakar Rally, and for the second year, we're in South America. Starting from the capital, Buenos Aires, on New Year's Day, the competitors travel west to the first overnight stop in Colón, before getting into the action up towards Cordoba and immediately into the mountains. The crews will climb over 3,000 meters on the fourth stage to Copiapo as we enter the 20 million year old Atacama Desert that's 50 times drier than Death Valley in California. After seven stages and exactly half the mileage, it's into Antofagasta for the rest day. The second half of the Dakar starts with some terribly difficult stages as the run down towards Copiapo, La Serena and the capital city of Santiago finishes off the Chilean side of things before the climb back over the Andes towards San Juan, San Rafael and into Santa Rosa. The last of the 9,000 kilometers and 14 stages will be into Buenos Aires where the first winners of 2010 will be crowned. The Argentina Chile Dakar 2010. Same places, new adventure. The Dakar organizers have been working hard over the past 12 months to find a new route for the 14 stages. They spent over four months in total finding the best and sometimes the hardest way over some of the world's toughest terrain. Former winner Jean-Pierre Fontenay has time to admire the stunning view, but for the recce crews, the route was a balance of access, the environment and local politics, not easy in the Atacama Desert. The route director, David Castera, made a route easier in some ways, but harder in others. The main lesson from last year was that these dunes are very soft and can sometimes bear the weight of all the categories, but on other dunes the trucks may sink, so we've decided to split the route in some places for the trucks, for the bikes, for the cars. 
The stages will be a little shorter, but the sting in the tail will surely be that they're going to be harder. However, there are many more stages in Chile this year, more stages that will have more sand in them, and therefore bringing them much greater challenges. Jean-Pierre Fontenay saying we've discovered new things going further into the Atacama Desert. And in fact, we found that we go back to the spirit we had years ago when crossing famous places such as the Tenere. We've got everything. With seven stages each for Argentina and Chile, the desert will play much more part of the drama than last year, reminding people of the true Dakar roots in Africa, where it was for 30 years. The biggest problem is when less powerful cars are maybe going to be following through the tracks of the first cars that went through earlier in the day. That can give them problems and that is going to be one of the difficulties for the runners further back. That's what Fontenay is explaining to us. And the other problems that they have found is that the recce that takes place during the winter months here in South America that means that the sand is really a little harder and not so soft. By the time the event gets underway, in January, it's the height of the summer. Now that has been taken into account for the 2010 Dakar event, and the organizers, well, they even then found that during the winter, even they got stuck. It took them over an hour to get out of this hole. It's not